Abdullayev, defending for only the second time his WO Intercontinental Light Waterweight title against the challenger from Argentina, Juan Godoy. Godoy, 25 years of age, just 15 wins, 5 losses, 1 draw, 3 inside. And Abdullayev has won 14, lost 1, stopped 11. He's 31 years of age. Second defense of his title. from Andijan in Uzbekistan but uh, Hamburg based we talk now in the restaurant for the W rules it's very important is no low blow no headband take gloves and good luck there you go the international language of professional boxing is English and rightly so at least I get a chance to understand it then Potentially 12 rounds in front of us, but I have a feeling here, despite the simple fact that uh, Godoy has never been stopped, that uh, there might be a chance okay, here that okay. Abdullayev, who's a very useful little fighter, could possibly do it. It's only a very minor suspicion, incidentally, but we'll have to wait and see. Little left hook landed by uh, Abdullayev to start things off. Well, there's a very wide right elbow there from Godoy and that's not going to do him any good whatsoever here find the jab but you can see there's a lot of space underneath that right elbow isn't there and I'll tell you something that left hook from Abdullayev will sink into the ribs sooner rather than later Abdullayev by the way has been 10 rounds on one occasion and so far Godoy's been 10 on three occasions I don't think that's going to make a great deal of difference here incidentally Once again, the Abdullayev left hook gets through. But I can't forget the night, as I say, in Sydney, when he was mastered in almost every department by Miguel Cotto. Well, left hook to the body there from Abdullayev. Watch your head. Break. And that looks like a tattoo up the spine. In fact, I'd say it was. Oh, and again, that good body shot there. And I tell you what, God, I didn't enjoy that one. Grimace there on the face of the Argentinian. Referee of this one, jo um, Joachim Jakobsen. Decent right over the top a moment ago from Godoy, but uh, you can see here that uh, Juan Godoy slightly tucked that right arm in to try and protect his body, but he won't do it for, you know, all the time, and there will come a point, I'm sure, had the life already punished that ribcage. Gets him again. I've got to say, Godoy's reasonably tidy, but, you know, when you've got such an exposed ribcage like this through the elbows, it's a real problem for you. Especially with a little chunky fighter like uh, Abdullah, who likes to get nice and close and bang away to the body. He's not done badly, actually, in this round of Godoy. Um, there's not a great deal in it, but I think uh, the quality of the punch so far from Abdullah is swinging things his way. But he has got a very good pedigree. And of course, uh, aims to keep hold of this title for what it's worth. Well, it's just out of distance there now. So I've got to say, God, I've been pretty busy in this round, and I think he thoroughly deserves a share, at least. I say, I think the quality punches have come from the German-based uh, Uzbekistani, but, well, not much in that round at all. In fact, if I had to find a winner, if, I, if I, my life depended on it, I'd probably go for this guy. Got on. But I'm going to call that level. So we're looking at uh, Juan Godoy from Argentina and uh, a six-year professional and this is only his second very minor title fight he fought for an equally meaningless uh, provincial title in Argentina in 2002 
won that one on points over 10 rounds, and this is his second, only his second meaningless title fight in his career. Don't forget, this is fight number 22 for him, number 16, of course, for Abdullayev, the favourite. And to go to round two, and, uh, well, Abdullayev has found a way through, for certain, but Godoy needs to keep busy to try and prevent him doing that. The left hook is uh, Adelaide's pet punch. As we can see here, Godoy likes to use the jab and the odd right cross. But of course, you've got to step in behind the jab to land the right effectively. Because, uh, in theory, once you hit the opponent with the left hand, um, the target is actually moved back. Um, and as a result, you've got to go looking for it. Although he's got a pretty useless right hand, the uh, left, the right foot comes off the floor when he delivers it, and that's not good enough. The right foot has got to be on the floor. The punch comes on the floor. Well, left hook to the body again from Abdullayev, and he sensed that uh, weakness, or at least the gap anyway. Once again, the right foot almost, yes, in fact, off the floor there when he throws the right hand. Where do they get this guy from? It's a fundamental of boxing, by the way, that, you know, you're taught to keep your feet on the floor when you throw a punch. That's the best leverage you can possibly get. Godoy, though, looks like he's thrown away the training manual for this particular uh, exercise. I've got to say, I think Adelav is making fairly hard work of this. Not hard to see, he was beaten by Clotty. And well beaten as well. Oh, that's a lovely a body shot. Well, Goro is beginning to soak these up now. He's going to feel that one as well. And they stay with you, and again, they really do stay with you, those body shots. Very hard to shake off. It looks in good shape, but, you know, one punch in the right place doesn't matter who you are. Well, busy round again here for Godoy. I'm going to give him this one. Oh, again, that body shot, but this time it's a right uppercut to the solar plexus. And then will come a time, I'm certain, when uh, Godoy says, oh, that'll do. Abdullayev relying an awful lot on his power here. Doesn't look like a particularly powerful man. I remember finding the former British lightweight champion, George Feeney, and I thought, the way in Oh, you got no chance. He just didn't look strong enough, but my goodness me, could he hit. So a bit of a flourish at the end of the round here from the German... Uh, Uzbekistan fighter, but I think that round goes to Godoy because he was incredibly busy. <laughs> busy and with fast hands. <laughs> so Juan Godoy, Juan Alberto Godoy to be exact. I don't actually know Abdullah's second name. Second out. Ring 503. Here we go, round three. So round a piece on my card. I might have actually swayed uh, towards Godoy in the first round for the same reason as I did in the second. But I just thought uh, the quality of the punches from Abdullah was pretty good in the first round. Uh, consequently, gave a share. But Godoy has won the second without a doubt, although he's got a lousy right hand because he takes his right foot off the floor. He could hit you with the right hand all night. It probably wouldn't bother you too much. If he delivers it, delivers it with the foot off the floor, that is. Now, the big question to ask here 
is if Abdullayev doesn't get out of this uh, little rut he's in at the moment and stays like this, will Godoy get the nod in Germany? Very unlikely on the evidence that we've had of late. Right, Inset there, the Fritz Tunek, the uh, Abdullayev trainer, or at least one of them, not on a full-time basis. That's done by Arthur Gregorian. Is he anxious? I've got to say, Uzbekistan sounds like a, a fascinating place. All of those uh, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Kurdistan. You know, well, they all sound terrific, don't they? One of these days. What a better round. Oh, lovely right. Better round, I was about to say there. Throughout the night, then lands a swiping right hand. Well, got her on the floor here. It's up to six already, and he's up at seven and a half, eight, in fact, up at nine. It's all over. Well, well, well. Well, that's a fascinating finish there. Referee didn't like the uh, the wobble on the legs of Godoy there. And he's called it off. He did get up by the eight and a half count. But the referee wasn't happy with his condition and he stopped it. So a win in three rounds for uh, Mohamed Abdullayev, who retains um, a pretty meaningless championship, but he's done it. And it was one punch that did it. And, you know, he's got that takeout power. That's his 12th win in 15 victories now inside the limit and first time that Godoy has been stopped as a professional fighter. He's uh, not a mu much of a puncher, only scored three knockout wins himself in 15 victories, but uh, never been stopped in five defeats. But here he has. So six defeats now on the Godoy record. And just one of them inside the limit. As we watch this right hand again, crunch against the jaw. Bang. Nothing wrong with that. Lights went out. Very fast punch. Measured that, didn't he? Well, no chance for the uh, follow-up there. Didn't need it, did he? Didn't need it at all. So, good eye then. Comes an awful long way. First time uh, in Europe for him. And he's been beaten in three rounds. So the challenger will go home deflated, I suspect. But the champion, well, what can you say? There's some very odd tattoos there on the uh, Abdullah back. I wonder what the significance of those is. No idea. I shall have to ask. Well, very sporting finish. And rightly so. I did suspect an inside distance finish for Abdullah, but I had no confidence whatsoever in it until that right hand landed flush on the side of the jaw. Winner by knockout in the third round after two minutes and four seconds. Sieger durch Kaun.